So, um, for we don't want to start off by giving our praise on going to Yahweh. Bashim, El Shah, Bashim, Kagulash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone Camp. So I'll give a long pause. Give me one second. But, um, you know, I've seen the, um, uh, there's a video clip of, a, of an in-person tornado. And, um, like a tornado up close. And, um, <coughs> so lucky. But in that, uh, in the video, um, it shows you the destruction, the true destruction of a, uh, of a tornado and what a tornado does, you know. And, um, Lord willing, I post the clip. I'll probably just record it, uh, like, like, screen record it on my phone. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a very interesting account that, uh, posted it. And, um. You know, the once again, I love when I put it either in the beginning or the end of my photo or select in the video. <coughs> but yeah, um, this is Second Timothy 3 and 1. They just know that in the last days, perilous time shall come. So, you know, perilous times let's, let's take a look in that what does perilous mean for those who don't know it means full of danger or risk dangerous peligroso you know you know uh, and pe peligroso means dangerous in Spanish alright so uh, you know, the last days, you know, the tornado was, was fucked. You know, the tornado was, um, it was just destroying everything in sight. You know, and, um, that's what, uh, that's, that's the, um, dangers and, and the weather, extreme weather that the Lord is bringing upon the last days of this world. You know, you have, um, there's this story of, a uh, of, uh, it goes, um, because I like to see, you know, like, stories, you know, uh, like, people like Mr. Nightmare, if you've never seen them, Mr. Balin is another one, you know, they, they just go into, um, like, stories about disturbing things, and, you know, disturbing, uh, disturbing stories, like, scary stories, apparently, and, um, one of them, I, I believe it was, um, I don't know what channel it was on, but, um, you know, they uncovered this story of a tornado, you know, pretty much hitting a school. But like, all the kids thought it was a joke until until the tornado actually hit them. And it was a massive tornado. 
and they were lucky enough that their one little box cubicle thing that their shit that they survived because when they went outside and the tornado was done everything was destroyed you know so they were lucky enough that the Lord had mercy on them but you know other people aren't so fortunate you know there's this also there's also this another story where this man loses everything you know his house his family you know you know it's not it's not easy to lose your house and your family you know it's definitely not um you know so This is Nahum 1 and 3. The Lord Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all quit the wicked. The Lord Yahweh is so hath his way when the third in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. So, you know, the Lord can make another flood if it wanted to happen. But the Lord, you know, said, you know what? Well, I said I wouldn't. So what did he do? He made a peace treaty by um, making a rainbow. You know, whenever it rains, then the sun comes out, then the rainbow comes out. You know, that's what a rainbow signifies, not this other nonsense that, that um, this world has come up with. A rainbow was a treating between his people and the Lord. That whenever they see a rainbow, they are, re they are remembered of that peace treating, you know. Um, real quick. Uh, so lucky, let me, um, <coughs> Give me one second, Baba Kisha. Salakia. Um. Mm. How does that one scripture go? How would I forget? This is such a... Uh, this was one of my favorite go-to scriptures. It's like on the tip of my tongue, but I... I it's, it's like I have a brain fart. I had a brain fart. Um, You know, I'm just going to go ahead and um, carry on with the lesson. But 
I really wanted to get that scripture, but you know, well, there's a, there's plenty of more. Psalms one forty eight and eight: Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy winds fulfilling His word. You know, so, you know, the Lord, the Lord will mess you up in so many ways. He bring a tornado. He can make a volcano explode. You know, it can bring a hurricane if those coast countries, you know. Because really, think about it. If you think about it, no state is really safe from any of this. You know, if you live in the coasts, you know, whether it be Texas, California, Florida, you know, if you live in the coast, like the like the bread, you could say, like the crust of the, uh, the United States. Um, the Lord will bring hurricanes, you know. If you live in the middle, the Lord will bring... The Lord will bring um, tornadoes, you know. If you if you live in an island, the Lord will bring volcanoes, you know. So the Lord has created many different ways. Many of things are His weapons, okay. And and um, you know it's just a dangerous path. You know the Lord controls the the the, um, the Lord controls um, the weather. You know here in California, it just rained. You know, uh, you know there was there was a uh, hurricane in California around three months ago. You know, I forget what I think it's Hurricane Ian, and that shit was a mass destruction. When it got here, it wasn't that bad, but it was you could, you know, you can see it. You could you could have felt it, you know. And there was another hurricane about a year and a half ago over there in Florida. I, I forget what that hurricane was called, but thankfully those brothers were, um, were were all fine, you know. And when hurricanes come, they come straight. They make like a beeline, all right? And anything that's in their way, it just destroys. You know, so no, no, no don't think you're safe just because you live in a... Oh, I live in... I live in... Uh, I live in New Hampshire, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Or I live in Massachusetts, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. You know, the Lord, the Lord, you know, because I used to think like that, you know, when I was in California as a little kid. You know, I used to think, oh, we ain't getting no tornadoes, no volcanoes, I'm fine. You know, nah, man, the Lord is quick to set my ass up, <laughs> you know. Get a volcano, a slacky, get a, get a, um, a hurricane. And shit, you know, if the Lord really wanted to, the Lord could have made a volcano erupt from underneath the damn, uh, the damn, um, uh, the ocean. You know, old ass volcano exploded under the ocean, man, and fucking fire up everything. Don't come make anything happen. Tsunami. You know, tsunamis are dangerous. You know, tsunamis, tsunamis are scary. That's one main thing. I'm terrified of the ocean, you know. And tsunamis is one thing, you know, that, that that really scares me that the Lord can do, you know. But um, you know, that's pretty much it. Just just keep you know, the Lord controls all these dangerous weathers. You know, I saw this clip, I thought it would be, you know, a very very nice edifying, you know, lesson, you know, of the 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 whirlwinds, the the, the storms, the you know, everything. You know, so um Keep safe, Akio, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.